What is up guys, Rick is here with a new video and today is the day we finally built Star Swordsman Mockman. Has taken a long time, I have to say. Um, we got a good role in the meantime, which is quite nice. Kill the Mage Giant Cut the Fire. He won't be our main hero for now, maybe later on, but for now he's going to be a 10 and 4 hour LFA. It will certainly enable us to do a lot of things. Um, mainly it will be nice because we can finally, finally have a second transcendence hero and that will change a lot honestly for campaign uh, we can have a hero that tanks some damage and then uh, lfa to deal the damage and that in some stages will be definitely huge so that on its own it's is honestly quite big um but him being a tenant should also provide some pretty big stats so that is also something i'm looking forward to um for now we have to take him out of the home of the lfa though because we won't be able to make him a transcendence hero otherwise oh, we can also do a little upgrade here let's take him out of here and probably we have to take him out of the id a team as well uh which we can't do <laughs> that might be a problem also tournament schedule um we might win that as well but that's another story b minus Valkyrie, by the way quite nice um i have to see how that works out we have to see how that fight um looks maybe we'll do that in the next episode but not this one today is a very much so more important day we can use the quick upgrade feature to get there let's see if that works now and defensive line of all the star arena okay <laughs> at least it's not ida i was worried for a second actually so we can take him out of here that's no problem at all put the vulcan in there we could have also built dtv but i i really didn't feel like that because we would have to change so much because we would have to get other tenants we would have to get like a sunny warrior eos and i feel like that is just a way more solid choice to go for this um mockman now and get him and now is the time finally come to click this button and to get our second transcendence zero which is fun considering our first transcendence hero is an a hero a plus hero now we our second transcendence hero is an a plus hero uh, the account is honestly quite stacked so let's check that out that is our uh star swordsman mockman obviously not the biggest attack 1.29 million uh we have the skin though i think yeah we also have the skin already upgraded the skin so that will give us some more stats a little bit more 1.36 million quite nice and uh, he has the flag equipped he has an attack attack stone the flag is now not optimal to be honest uh we should probably switch that around lord of fear Aspen with the Rui scepter here which was what we were using for another stage in void campaign so i will keep that for the second but i guess maybe switch that around get the a and b like on the on the uh star swordsman mockman now it's not the best artifact for him by no means but still uh a little bit better to have the dark flag here even though it's not an upgraded dark flag so yeah doesn't really help too much but it reduces the attack uh, when he's in combat so that's quite bad uh, if that is on our mockman uh, we can also now get a transcendence puppet which we couldn't because we didn't get one before we put the tree mats on here so that is something we are going to do not in this episode but in the meantime um and now we have to do some more stuff though uh, one thing that we have to do is we have to obviously set him as a tenant it will give us 791k attack so that's quite nice um pretty nice upgrade here another 370k uh we have to do something else though because we don't have a tenant for this slot anymore and if you check that out we actually have a way to get a tenant for this slot um we have to swap this carry well not this swap we have to do this swap as well to get the copy uh and we should get that copy as well by the way just seeing that that we have another c tier copy in here that's money that's money but what we really have to do and uh, we have to take her out of the star arena lineup as well i guess for that uh, we have to swap her to be a mockman because we need another mockman for the last slot you can put the star swordsman mockman in here uh already 48 million now and now we have to swap her so am i blind i don't, don't see her there she is okay we had some some strange aura here ah okay because we aura it is for awakening makes sense uh so now we need to swap this actually convert and we have to put in 
all of those Mockman copies here and make her a Mockman. Uh, which won't have any awakening, so we kind of need to get an awakening on this guy. Um, we'll get the nine. Oh, we got the carry copies anyway. <laughs> I forgot about that, that we get the copies anyway. Uh, didn't even have to swap that. Could have saved us some gems, but yeah, it is what it is. Some small mistakes were made, but nothing too impactful. So let's upgrade that Mockman here as well. I will skip that. Okay, done. Um, so the awakening, that is really a problem. That E tier is definitely something we need to fix, but I don't think we have a better copy of him. No, we don't. So I guess next awakening event, we will surely get a better copy of him, which will also give us a lot more talent stats because, yeah, E tier, 339 attack. That's really nothing. We could maybe awaken one more if we have a free awaken. We do indeed. So maybe let's go for that. Let's go for that. Let's see what we can do. Hopefully better than E tier. Maybe we just get an A tier. Come on, <laughs> give me an A tier. <laughs> that would be so filthy. Ah, D attack, that's quite all right. I mean, it's not the best 739, but it's it's a small upgrade. We take it and uh, we don't really want to spend more for that, but it's 400 attack upgrade, so that's quite good. Um, beyond that, let's check out the home now. Uh, we can put in the Mockman there as well, slot four tenant, as I said. Um, and that we gives us a 237k attack, which is not that great, to be honest. I think don't think he has gear. Don't think I put gear on him. That is something we should fix. Where is he? Should really order it by... Oh, he has gear. He has like a demon bow. Well, that's quite all right. I mean, it could be a little bit better, but we have attack, attack. Attack enables, so I guess, I guess that's pretty much it. So let's see how much attack we do have now. 2.62 million small upgrade here. Um, main part is of course that we now have Star Swordsman Mockman as well and that we can use for campaign. Uh, we had a crown. Where's our crown by the way? Uh, level and then this mode should be somewhere. Oh, it's on our Ignis. Oh, we had it on the Ignis for, uh, for Star Expedition. Yeah, that makes sense. Uh, let's put it here now. I actually at the Gustin stage on campaign, that might be a problem. Uh, let's see how that works out. Let's just hop in there. We now have a second transcendence hero, so that will be a little bit interesting. And let's see how that works. Uh, it's kind of a hard stage, to be honest. Like with the counterattacks and everything. Um, not quite that easy. And yeah, that was definitely not the way to do it. So let's try that again. Um, what really makes the stage difficult is that we don't really have the damage to deal with that. And uh, obviously there are some things that we need to get fixed uh, for that to really work out. Yeah, that is not really nice. Um, maybe we could use a demon bell on that Mockman. That might be interesting. Instead of a crown, just switching that out, putting the demon bell on him. That could be great, honestly, to just get another, uh, to just make certain sure that we get the LFA active. I'll get a little bit more skill damage on the LFA active. Did I use... I think I have some uh, DR now on him. Yeah, that is DR. Let's not use that. Um, we can go for... Where's holy damage? Holy damage. So let's try that. And... Yeah, okay. Also, front row Mockman. We should probably use back row Mockman. Like, front row Mockman is not that great. Uh, at least not if you don't. Uh, at least not if you don't have uh, proper upgrades on him. So let's go for back row Mockman for a little bit more damage. Still, that is a hard stage, and we kind of already did what we could do without getting any uh, huge upgrades here. <laughs> yeah, attacks without. Uh... Oh, oh, the counter attack. Yeah, these segments are a problem. These segments are a problem. I guess when we when we uh, enhance the team a little bit, maybe get a transcendence flag or something, or a dark flag, um, and some better awakenings on the Mockman. That will be interesting. He does deal some proper damage, though. I mean, like the damage here that was quite insane on the um, on the back row heroes on the flame strikes for him just being a normal hero. I guess our only hope really is to go into the back row. Um, get a proper hit out there, but the thing is, you then get a uh, counter attack by the uh, by the Sigmunds. But here it already helped. Did you see that? It already helped, and we are close. We are actually close. Um, 
it already helped because uh, the Sigmunds attack slot one, so they go in order and then they just attack the um, the Mockman, which here helps us a lot. Ah, we can't really get the kill though. We can't really get the kill. That's not very nice. Uh, let's try to swap that up. Or maybe go like this for the front row. Could work. Oh, I have a better idea. Depending on the order. Ah. That could have worked. That could have worked. If that kill um, gave us some more energy, that might have honestly worked. But we have to get the kill on the Sigmund for that to have any chance of working. So that's a lot of RNG. There is a lot of RNG to this. We can beat the stage. I think this this order can beat the stage. Come on. And there it is. There it is. We just got the um, the kill on the first Sigmund, so only one Sigmund counterattacked. And then we could get the CC on all the uh, enemies in the back row from the kill on the Sigmund. That gave us energy and crit damage back. Uh, to enough damage to kill the second one. The Mockman in slot 1 got attacked by the Sigmunds on turn 1, so we got like a little bit of health left, um, a little bit of room for having health, like uh, I should say. So uh, in the end that helped us a lot, and um, that Mockman here really not doing a whole lot of damage, but being a proper tank, and uh, that is pretty important. So next stage, we got some nice buffs here now already from Darius, Xbit and Guy Fleekman. So that's pretty nice. Uh, a little bit of a healer stage. Not quite sure where to attack that yet. Usually LOEs are quite annoying. Um, and of course we have... Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, her dole effect can be really annoying. That can be a really big problem for us. Not quite sure how to handle this. I think I will go with back row and front row again. I think that's a proper way. Uh, did I now position that right in front of... No. Okay, in front of the Fiona. Yeah, that's all right. And we have to see how that works out. Ooh. Okay, that's bad. Yeah, that's that's really bad. Didn't do anything. Just triggered a counterattack and got shrunk. Which we can't get rid of. Okay, I think... Maybe we will try to go with Burst, but this is like the last attempt we will do, otherwise the episode will get way too long. Um, it's a little bit the problem with doing campaign. Like campaign, you're always stuck in, you do it for a long time, and uh, then you can do like maybe one stage per episode, maybe not even a stage per episode, and that's a bit of a problem. I think we have to kill the Olivia. If we don't kill the Olivia, I think there is no chance for us to beat that stage. Because she will shrink us, that will de destroy our damage, or she will swap speed with us, which won't, which won't be nice. So I guess this was, like, very important for us to do. Um, we have to get some better CC, though. I usually bet those LOE stages with a, with a Rui Scepter. But I, I'm not sure that is the way here. Maybe it's a Rui Scepter CCing the entire back row. Mm, could work. I mean, it could it could still work. I'm not quite sure what we will do here. I'm honestly tempted to go back to the Rui Scepter, but the speed swap will make it a problem. Olivia will take our speed, and once she takes our speed with the Rui Scepter, we will be slower than the enemies, and uh, that could be pretty disastrous, uh, especially when any of those get energy. That was insane, though. Hello? Uh, and that is our end. Now we have the little puppet effect, and we don't do anything anymore. Uh, yeah, so that's pretty bad. And now the damage over time will kill us. No, not yet, but yeah, no heal at all for us. I want to get one of those overkills again and see if that can deal some extra damage. Nah, no overkill. Sad. Quite sad. Yeah, and that's the death. Okay. Um, I would try working on stage, maybe find a better strategy, get a recording for you guys, and then we will see us in the next one.